This vodcast is on the mark recapture method of estimating a population. So you can put this heading in your notebook, mark recapture investigation. So, so far in class we've been talking about um, the sample census method of estimating a population size. And that method works really good for organisms that don't move around, like mushrooms or plants, or objects that organisms leave behind that don't move around, like galls or nests or footprints. Um, there are some organisms, though, that we have to measure their population of, and they are still... Um, let me get rid of this quick. They are still mobile. There's no other way to measure them. Um, they're moving around, and we still need to get a good idea of how many there are. Examples of this might be the deer population, or wolf population, or goose population, that we need to get an idea of how big it is to set like hunting limits and things like that. So to do that, we are going to use this mark recapture method. So if you haven't already done so, let's write down the definition of this mark recapture method. It is a population census, so we're trying to get an idea of how big a population is for an organism, of a mobile or a moving population. Okay, so something that's moving around. As we had with the sample census to determine population density, we have an equation with this one as well. So this equation for determining um, population density of our moving population has four variables. So N, capital N here, is the estimated size of the population. That's what we're going to be solving for. So just circle that. The things that we get, or the information we need in order to find the estimated population size, are we need to first collect a sample of organisms. So you may have to trap some organisms or um, account for them in some way. We have to have a sample that you can actually tag. You put tags on that first sample, and then you let them loose again. You come back later, and you collect a second sample, that's our lowercase n. And from that second sample, some may be organisms that you've already tagged. Okay, that's our R. Okay, the big R is the number of organisms you recapture from that second sample that already have tags on them. So you can see that this is a little bit more intense process than the sample census. This involves catching and tagging various organisms but it does give us a pretty accurate estimation of how big the population is. Again, it is an estimation. It's not exact, but it will give us enough information we need to make the decisions we need to make. So I'm going to go through an example of this with you, and we're going to see how this actually works um, in an actual mathematical formula. So we're going to move on to the next slide here, and I'll read through the example. Our sample is you are an entomologist, which is a, an insect scientist. So you are trying to determine the population of Japanese beetles in your backyard. There are a lot of these beetles coming out right now, so we're seeing a lot of these around too. So two weeks ago, you captured, marked, and released 100 beetles. So this is your first capture, obviously. Um, oftentimes, insects will get marked with just like a special paint or something just to, sh to show they've been collected. So you put a little blob of paint on the back of all those 100 beetles and you let them loose again in your backyard. Yesterday you caught 40 beetles, so that's your second capture. 20 were recaptures, so in other words 20 had that little glob of paint on the back. So they were from the first sample. From this information I want you to estimate the beetle population in your backyard. And we're going to show our work. All right, so even though you don't have this sample written down in your notebook, I would like you to work the problem in your notebook so that you have some uh, reference to look at when you do the problems in class. So we're going to pull up the problem on a Word document here so I have some room to write. So same problem we had before. I also included the um, equation for you to refer to. 
Remember the big N or capital N is what we're solving for. So we need to get the information for big M, little n, and R. So first of all, our big M is our sample that we collect first. So big M, in our example, if we look through the whole uh, word problem, was 100 beetles. That's what we collected the first time two weeks ago. So big M equals 100. The second sample is the little n. And it says yesterday you collected a total of 40 beetles. So that's our little n. And then finally, the big R is the recapture number. So how many of those in the second sample were marked insects from the first sample? And it says 20 were recaptures. They had little globs of paint on them. So now all we need to do is basically plug that into the formula. So again, big N or your population equals big M, so 100, times little n, which is 40, divided by big R, which is 20. Okay, we multiply that out. I'm sure you could probably do this in your head, but we are going to do it on a calculator so that you can see that. So we've got 100 times 40 equals 4,000. And then again, divided by 20 as our recaptures equals 200. So the estimated size of the population equals 200 beetles. And we're going to label that. Okay, so that's just one sample for you to see how this mark recapture estimate works. You're going to be doing some more of these in class as practice, but just always remember to look for your variables first. Okay, you can find your first sample, your second sample, and your number recaptured. You can basically solve any problem. So just keep all those straight, keep your variables straight, make a little list for yourself like I did right here and then you can always plug them into the equation.